Stock Splits Basics Problem 1. Raspberry has 62,000 shares of $17 par common stock outstanding. Raspberry announces a stock split of 4 for 1. What is the effect of the split? Stock splits are one of those topics that students love because you just learn a rule, you apply the rule, it makes sense, boom, easy. And I'm also going to draw out a visual to kind of help you understand stock splits in a little bit more depth. So this question, what is the effect of the split? And we're told that there's a stock split of four for one. Anytime you have a stock split, there's no journal entry that takes place in a stock split from an accounting standpoint. Uh, we learned about stock dividends in other, in other videos. And with stock dividends, stockholders' equity stays the same. But you are moving money from retained earnings to paid in capital. So there is some economic consequences there you have to record. Stock split, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything because all that's happening is it's just a mathematical change to what's going on. So here in this question, we're told there's 62,000 shares. 62,000 shares. And we're told that there is a $17 par. So what I like to do is put a little line here in the middle, do the number of shares on one side and the par amount on the other. So when you're told a stock split, you'll be told a X for one. And usually the X is greater than one, but it could be less than one. It could be 0.5 for one. The idea here is you are going to multiply. So we're going to multiply the number of shares. Number of shares outstanding. That's what we focus on. Number of shares outstanding by the X. You're going to multiply it by that. And then for the par, you are going to divide by X. You're going to divide. And the idea here is by doing this, what happens is you are then adjusting for the respective change. For the respective change. So if we multiply 62,000 here, 62,000 X, well, it's four for one. 62,000 multiplied by four, we're going to get 248,000. So we go from 62,000 shares to 248,000 shares. You're saying, whoa, like the shares, they've gone up significantly. Yes, they have. But really economically, not much is changing because at the same time, you also have to adjust the par. So if we have a four for one, then over here, we have to take $17, divide that by four, and you're going to get $4.25 is the new par value per share. New par value per share. Now you can always check your work. And the way you check your work is you calculate the total before and after. You do the total before versus after. Before versus after. And what you do is you take the before number of shares times the par and you get and you see if it matches the after. If it equals, you've done it properly. So the before, we're told we have 62,000 shares times par amount of $17 per share. If you multiply that out, you're going to get $1,054,000. $1,054,000. All after, we're going to have 248,000 shares times a par of $4.25. And that's going to give us $1,054,000. Don't believe me? Go do the calculation. So they equal, and we've done it properly. Before we go, I also want to explain what's going on in a stock split from a visual standpoint. I like to use a pie. I like to use a pie. Before the stock split, you've got one share. Think of it like a pie, any flavor. Could be even a pizza pie. Could be a cookie pie, whatever you like. This, this simulates one share before, one share. So if you've owned one share before, that's what it looks like, just one circle. After, after you now have four shares, the same size though. So what happens in the stock split is instead of having one, you have one, two, three, four. But the idea is that because the par amount has gone from 17 to 425, you still own $17 or not, sorry, you don't own $17 worth, but the par still equates to $17 when you add up 425, 425, 425, and 425, it equals 17. So before again, we had one pie, and now after, we have one pie, but it's broken into four pieces. So you can either have one large pie to yourself, or you can have four uh, 
one quarter size pieces after. It's the same thing. So that's what a stock split is. It's the same exact thing before and after. It's just we're changing up the number of shares as well as the par amount.